Have you ever been denied for credit cards or loans because of bad or no credit? A great way to solve this problem is by getting a credit builder loan. Self is a company that allows you to pay a small amount every single month for a year or two towards a loan. Your payment history will get reported to all three of the credit bureaus, which in turn may increase your credit. Once your terms have been met, you will then get the money that you put in minus the fees. What's up winners? My name is Nam. If you're new here, welcome. Here we talk all things personal finance and credit. Start now by subscribing so you don't miss out on any future videos. So first off, let's talk about what exactly is Self. Self is a financial company that's based out of Austin, Texas with the goal of helping consumers build their credit. The way that Self does this is by offering secure loans. A secure loan is just a loan that's backed by collateral, typically something that you own. So in this case, it's your money. In this video, I'll just use secure loans and credit builder loans interchangeably since they have the same goal. With Self, you can get credit building loans with monthly payments that start as low as $25 a month. All you would have to do is pay your loan on time every single month. This either can be 24 months or even 12 months. Then your money will be yours after the term minus the fees and interest. Based on their website, you can have a monthly commitment ranging anywhere between $25 to $150 per month. So let me give you an example. If you decide to pick the minimum, which is $25 a month for 24 months, this will mean that you paid into the system $600. So when it's all said and done, you will just receive back $520. The $80 difference will be paid to self, which includes interest and admin fees. So knowing this information, why would you want to get a credit builder loan or a secure loan? The key difference between a credit builder loan and a traditional loan is that you don't get the money until you finish making off every loan payment. With traditional loans, you would just get the money up front and you would just have to pay back the money until the terms are met. With most credit builder loans, the financial company will typically open up a separate account, usually with a savings account or certificate of deposit. The bank, credit union, or service provider will then report your monthly payments to one of the three major credit bureaus. Once the loan balance has been paid in full, the service provider will then unlock the savings account or CD and return the amount that you put in minus the interest and the admin fees. Secure loans are targeted towards individuals who have a low credit score or looking to build their credit. As you already may know, having a good credit score is very important because most lenders will use it during the decision process. Self reports that individuals who are starting with a credit score below 600 or less will likely see a positive impact from a credit builder loan over time. Another added reason on why you want to get a credit builder loan is that you want to add diversity to your credit history. There are two types of credit lines, revolving lines of credit and also installment lines of credit. Let's go over revolving accounts first. Revolving accounts is when a lender gives you a certain amount of credit. Once you use that credit and pay it off, this frees up more credit, which you can use again, which works in a cycle. This includes credit cards, retail store cards, gas station cards, and also a HELOC. As for installment lines of credit, these are types of accounts that have a fixed payment every single month until the balance is paid off. This includes mortgages, auto loans, student loans, and personal loans. Self would also fall under this category. Individuals who already have an installment loan that reports to the credit bureaus or is shown on their credit report may not need a credit builder loan because they already have an installment trade line. Self also has an option for a secure card as well, which will be a revolving line of credit, but more on this later. The reason why it is a good idea to have different types of accounts because lenders, they may see you as lower risk depending on the financial product. So let me give you an example. Whenever you apply for a mortgage, lenders will tend to focus more on installment lines of credit. The reason behind this is that because a mortgage is an installment loan, there's a fixed amount of money that you agree to pay every single month. Vice versa also applies to a credit card as well. Credit card companies may look more closely at how you handle revolving lines of credit rather than installment loans. I'm not saying that payment history on different types of accounts does not play a role because they definitely do, but they may have more weight on the type of credit that you are seeking. To understand how credit builder loans affect your credit, first you must understand what goes into a credit score. It consists of five main sections. The first one being is payment history, which is 35%, amounts owed, which is 30%, length of credit, which is 15%, new credit, which is 10%, and credit mix which is another 10%. A credit builder loan will mainly focus on your payment history and also your credit mix. Having a great payment history is the best way to have a great credit score. Having a loan like this may help you build that payment history, but it's kind of like a double-edged sword. If you're not able to make your payments on time, then you'll be punished heavily and your credit score can drop quite a bit. Self reports that it can take up to six months of on-time payments to establish a FICO score. This mostly pertains to individuals who don't have a credit score. But if you already have one, your credit score may drop slightly when opening a new account because this is a new account and now you have some more debt. So before we move on to the features and benefits, let's briefly go over the pricing. 
At the making of this video, whether you decide to pay $25 a month or $150 per month, there will be an administrative fee of $9 and you'll also be charged an interest rate. Also, when I was playing with the slider on their website, the APR can range anywhere between 15.65% to 16%. Again, this is subject to change, so double check on their website to know the latest rates. Some other companies can charge as high as 30% APR with those with lower credit scores. So aside from interest rates, you can also get charged a fee for late payments. This is fairly common for any type of loan or credit card out there. Depending on the size of your credit builder account, the bigger it is, the higher the late fee will be. A common question that's frequently asked is what if I decide to pay off my credit builder loan early? With Self, you are able to pay back your loan at any time. If you choose to close your account early, the CD will be liquidated to repay the remaining balance of the loan. And also closing your credit builder account early will incur an early withdrawal fee of less than $5 depending on the account size. To utilize the account for credit building purposes, just make monthly payments until the terms are met since the main purpose of a credit bill alone is to build a positive payment history to improve your credit score. All right, so now let's talk about the requirements to open up a self account. The application should take no longer than five minutes. It just asks for basic personal information. You need either a bank account, a debit card, or a prepay card. It is recommended to have a bank account though, since there will be a convenience fee if you use a debit card or a prepay card. You would also need an email address, phone number, a social security number, and be a valid permanent US resident with a US physical address. And lastly, you gotta be at least 18 years of age. Another thing that I wanted to mention is that self does not do a hard inquiry and they only do a soft inquiry. And soft inquiries have no harm to your credit score whatsoever. Now let's talk about how self really differentiates the services compared to other companies that offer credit builder loans. Self, they offer a Visa credit card, which is a secure credit card. So to become eligible for self visa credit card, there are some requirements that you have to meet. First, you gotta have an active credit builder account for at least three months. The next thing that you would have to do is reach at least $100 of saving progress towards your credit builder account. And the last one being is that your credit builder account is in good standing. As a side note, these requirements are subject to change, so just double check on Self's website to ensure that they are still correct. One thing to make note of is that even though you do meet these minimum requirements, is that it's not guaranteed that you'll get offered the credit card. But in the case that you do get approved for the Visa card, this is how it would work. First, you would have to choose your credit limit. It will be a portion of your savings. This either can be at least $100 or more, but this will be used to secure your card and set your limit. So for example, if you currently have $200 worth of saving progress in your account, this can be your credit limit if you choose to do so. Then you would order your card, then activate it, and now just use it for expenses. This is probably one of the key reasons why I think Self is a very interesting product. Not only that you can build an installment line of credit, but you also can rebuild a revolving line. These are the two type of credit lines that will help build credit. But if you are new to credit, credit cards and secure cards, they do have different factors that affect your credit score. You may have to start thinking about credit utilization and other things that are important to build credit, but that's for another video and I have plenty of those that you can watch pertaining to credit cards. But more on the self visa card. If your account is in good standing, you can increase your credit limit over time. Since you already have a credit builder account with them, they won't even do a credit check or hard inquiry if you decide to get the Visa card. So when it's all said and done, Self is great for individuals who are looking to improve the credit and never had a loan previously. Additionally, individuals who are looking to repair the damaged credit, a credit builder loan may be able to help. If you are looking to get a credit card, you can get a revolving line of credit with yourself once you save enough into your credit builder loan. So you essentially kill two birds with one stone. But if you are a person who's looking for a quick fix or something that'll help boost your credit fast, a credit builder loan is definitely not for you. Building a good credit score requires good payment history. And payment history can only happen when information gets reported to the credit bureaus once a month. So time is the only thing that will help you build this portion of your credit score. If you guys have used Self before, let me know in the comments below about your experiences. If you guys haven't already, make sure you give this video a like because that really helps support the channel. I'll see you guys in my next videos.